Ah, saya dah pergi semester ni, saya dah pergi semester ni. Dia banyak cakap pasal rasuah. Mungkin pakcik. Nah, Microsoft, Excel. Ni, ni. Ada lagi Hello, good afternoon everyone. Assalamualaikum. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Selamat tengah hari. Selamat tengah hari. How are you? Apa khabar? <laughs> khabar baik. Khabar baik. Alhamdulillah, khabar baik tu. Okay. Uh, khabar baik. Sama-sama. Terima kasih. Okay. Happy New Year. Selamat Tahun Baru. Happy New Year. Mm. Happy New Year. Yes, Happy New Year. Thank for your for those who are already um, give your rates for my teaching assessment. Many thanks to you. Okay. All right. And for those who not, did not complete for your assignment number two, please complete before January 7. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So today yeah. we have a many things to discuss. First of all, I want. Uh, did you got the information about your test too? The information about test two. Got it or not? Ah, uh, Ali, you. Do you got the information about the test two? Yes, but I saw. I saw. Is it? Pardon? Pardon, Ali, you. Not clear. What is it? Can you repeat again? Where you just find said it to be on WhatsApp group. Oh, WhatsApp group. Okay. So today is I want to. Add... Okay, is it okay, X? Sorry. Is it X? Finish your sentence. X at PM. X at ah, PM. Yes. X at PM. Okay. <clears throat> I want to detail about your test too. I just want to remind and repeat again the information about the test too. This is a very important yeah, because we don't have a receipt paper. So make sure everybody uh, available to take your test too on that date and on that time. Okay, uh, this is the information about the test too. The date is 8 January 2020. Yes, teacher. Yes. Yeah. Our classmates wants to go in. Oh, oh. Okay, 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 okay. Sorry, sorry. Mm. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, most welcome. Okay, 
I already uh, admit all of them. Okay. I continue, yeah? Okay, this is the information about your test too. The date is 8 January 2022. The time is 8 30 p.m. Yeah, p.m. Not early mornings, but night. Until 9.15 p.m. The time is just 45 minutes only. Okay, so you have to answer. You have to complete your test in 45 minutes. If you if you submit your answer after forty five minutes, your uh what we call it your answer is not um accepted. Okay, uh your answer will not be accepted after nine fifteen. So please make sure you send in uh, nine fifteen or before yeah. nine fifteen. Okay. All right. So the okay. procedure the procedure to answer the test is okay on that day and on that time. Okay. Uh, I will share the links in WhatsApp group. So please active your VPN, uh, your internet, make sure your device uh, in a good condition, okay, sufficient to avoid any problems, right? And then number two, uh, please uh, click the submit when you're done answering all and snap the computer screen or the uh, screenshot the screen as uh, proofing for your attending your test too. Okay. The important is you have to snap the, the screenshots the last session after you click the button submit as a proofing. Because last time, some of the students, I didn't find, I didn't trace the paper. And then I, I say, I was thinking she is absent. And then she said, teacher, I attend and answer the test too. But I didn't get the paper. Okay. So I, I don't know how to defend them because they don't have the proofings. So that's why you have to screenshot and send the picture in WhatsApp group. All right. Okay. So number two, when you click the links, okay, at the front, uh, front of the page, you have to fill up the detail completely. It puts your name, your metric number, and make sure you are in the right uh, class. You are section 26, not group 26. Okay? Uh, if not, your paper will go to the other class. Click in section 26. Okay? All right. And apa lagi? Uh, rasanya itu je kot. Okay? Uh, you are not allowed to use any device since you answer the test. Like the books, notes, or everything. As be honest to answer your test. Okay, so uh, I was thinking the question is around point 50 to 20. So you have to answer the all of question in a 45 minutes. All right, so the topic concludes in your test is topic four, five, and six. They have a three section. First section, you have to fill in the blanks with the best answer. Try to look at, at a topic five about the conversation, about the vocabulary I share in the lecture notes, try to memorize all of them. Okay, not too much. I was thinking the vocabulary in topic five around a tens to 15 words only. Try to memorize all of them. Okay, B section. Okay, we're talking about the grammar where you have to rearrange the word to be a complete sentence. I will show you the, the formats about B and C. Okay, uh, we have to, to do some of exercise. And C part, you have to rearrange the sentence to be a complete story. C, we are talking about the writing. Okay, I mean, uh, I give you the sentence, we just rearrange back the sentence. I mean, you have to rewrite the all of sentence. Not writing, I mean typing, because you answer by computer, right? Okay, so that's all about the test two. Any question? Ada soalan? Test two? S2, ada tak soalan? Dia ada. Ada atau tak ada? Have or don't have a question? Yes. Excuse me, teacher. Yes. Should we, uh, should we prepare the numbers? Pardon? Do we? Uh, what is it? The numbers for what? Uh, Yes, what do you mean? The number four? 
um, maybe write down some numbers you collect uh, forms. Uh, okay, actually, when you click at the links, Google form, I just give you the question. We just write down the answer only. They have a okay. columns. Okay. All right. Hey, excuse so me. I've got a. I've got a question. That mm -hmm. you've mentioned that we have to uh, send a picture into WhatsApp group, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but I just uh, I just didn't hear it clearly that uh, what's the picture about? What's the, uh. the? Okay. I mean, after you click the button submit. Okay. Okay. After okay. you click the button submit. Uh, snap the picture mm. as a proofing. You have done answer the test too. And then send the picture in the WhatsApp group. Okay, okay, got it. Uh. Okay, so I have to stop share. All right, so in test two, topic uh, include the four, five, and six. So topic four, we have done two last weeks ago. And topic five, we're not done. Am I right? Yeah. Okay, so today we have to cover two topics. Topic five and topic six. There are too many. Okay, so I hope you can stay until the end of the classes, two hours, yeah? Uh, okay, so let me share my screen with the topic five. Continuous lesson, topic five. Okay. Which part we hold the last uh, week? Slide number six. Is it's it we done or not? This one is done or right? I think uh, teacher is uh, slide 11. That's slide where we stop. 11, 11. Yeah. I think, 11. Yeah. This one, okay, this one, we have done or not? Item in a bookstore. No, 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 no. Not yet. Okay. Yeah, so, yeah, exactly here. Exactly here. We should okay. start at in, in this right. page. Exactly, okay. So I just to continue. Elevens, elevens. I mean, okay. I was thinking this is here, right? Okay. But in the market, wet item in the market about the fruits and the vegetable. Everything is done, and we do a sum of activity last time. So just now we're talking about the item in the bookstore. So we go to the other spaces. So now I present to you, look at your screen. This is the few item you can find in the bookstore. I just read the item. Yeah? I did not call your name to read uh, the item because we have to go fast. Okay. The first one, pembaris. Is, this is a ruler. Okay, we call it pembaris. Try to catch up the pronunciation. Pembaris. This is a ruler. And number two, pemadam. Pemadam. This is a eraser. Okay, pemadam. Number three, and penyerlah. How to pronounce it? Penyerlah. This is a highlight. Okay, highlight. Where you want to highlight the most important words on your notes. And then, cecair pemadam. It's like a correction pens. But this is a liquid. Okay, liquid paper. Where you want to erase when you make it wrong on your paper, you can use the liquid paper. But uh, people uh, just now, they use correction pen. Okay, the next item, this is a pencil. Pencil, still pencil in Malay. Same pronunciation, but this different spelling. And this one, this is a paper. Paper, we call it kertas. I was thinking the same words in Arabic, kertas. And this is uh, actually, this is a, a notebook. We call it exercise book or we call it buku latihan. Buku latihan in Bahasa Melayu. And this one, this is a sharpener. Okay, when you want to sharp your pen, your pencil. Okay, pengasah. And the last thing, pen, still pen in Bahasa Melayu. Pen is pen. All right, so I hope you know the name of the items in the bookstore because I want to give you the, the situation, the conversation situation in the bookstore. All right, so Suraya, she want to buy the item in the bookstore. I just read the sentence, yeah? so listen carefully. And then please help me to know what the meaning for the each uh, sentence. First of all, Hai, boleh saya tahu di mana saya boleh dapatkan 
buku latihan pemadam serta pembaris. Okay, that's me is Suraya asking, uh, may I know where I can get buku latihan pemadam and pembaris? What is it buku latihan? Exercise book. Exercise book. Pemadam? Erasers. Eraser and then pembaris? Rulers. Rulers. Ruler. Okay, so Suraya, she tried to looking uh, exercise book, eraser and the rulers. And then staff at the bookstore said, yeah, boleh. Yes, of course. Buku latihan ada di bahagian depan kedai. That's mean the exercise book at the di bahagian depan. What is it? In front, front. of? Yes, in front of the store. Okay. And then pemadam. Where is pemadam? Pemadam and pembaris. I mean the eraser and the ruler at the rock over there. Okay, at the rocks is over there. Okay. And then Suraya, go to take the item what she needed and come back. Suraya asking again. Baiklah, saya hendak bayar ke semuanya. I want to pay the all of item. Berapakah harga untuk setiap barang ini? Okay, how much for each item? And then the staff at the bookstore said, Harga bagi sebuah buku latihan ialah RM2.50. I mean the notebook or exercise book, the price is RM2.50. Pemadam, I mean the eraser. Okay, the eraser price is 60 cents and then the ruler price is 70 cents. Jumlah kesemuanya. Okay, jumlah kesemuanya, I mean the total uh, you have to pay is 3 ringgit 80 cents. Okay, so baiklah ini duitnya. What is it duit? Money. Yes, this is the money. Mm. Ini baki. Balance. Yes, this is a balance. Terima kasih. Sama-sama. Okay. This is a conversation for those who did not complete your assignment number two. You can use this uh, script to make it to complete your assignment. Okay, just now we're going to the other places. How to paying a bill. Okay. So just now I want to show you. Okay, this is a, uh, the sample bill. Okay, this is a sample bill. Not bill lah, like an invoice or receipt, just a sample. If you are lucky, if you are lucky, in your final test, you will test the future that have the translation words like uh, like this one lah. Okay, I mean, a charge katunga. They have already have a translation of the charge. So easy to you lah to understand what are the meanings. Okay, charge semasa, I mean, is current charge. Okay. So, so this is the example, the simple, but look at, okay. I prepare to you the table, okay, outstanding. Outstanding, we call it tunggakan. Tunggakan. Current charge, we admit is charge semasa or monthly charge, okay. Charge semasa. Okay, based on this invoice, how much uh, current charge we have to pay? How much current charge based on this invoice? What we call it? Some current bilang dua ringgit empat pro uh, enam sen. Yes, sembilan puluh dua ringgit empat puluh enam sen. This is what I mean. If you are lucky, have translation current charge. I mean charge semasa. Okay, I've, um, based on the the what we call it the examiner lah. Sometimes they use. The same picture uh, for your final. Sometimes they use the another receipt. That the another receipt, they don't have the translation. So what happened? What we are going to do? You have to try to memorize the all of pockets here. Okay, to catch the situation where Mahmud he want to pay electricity bill at the counter. Okay, so Mahmud said, "Selamat pagi. I mean, it's good morning. Boleh saya buat bayaran?" 
bill electric saya di sini. I mean Mahmud asking, can I pay my electricity bill here? And then staff at the counter said, selamat pagi, good morning. Ya, yeah, boleh beri saya bill encik. Please give your bill, sir. Encik, I mean is sir in English, ya. Yeah? Okay. Ah, uh, oh sorry, sorry, sorry. Encik, that's mean is sir in English. Okay. How about uh for women? Encik for men's, right? Encik, sir. Okay, for women, we should say puan or madam. Okay, madam. In Bahasa Melayu, we call it puan. Uh, okay. Puan. Right? Uh, for men, we call it sir. For encik. And for girl, we call it madam. Okay. All right. So continue, Alamak. Okay. Uh, ini bill electric saya. This is my bill. Berapakah charge semasa yang perlu saya bayar? What does it mean by charge semasa? What is it I told you last time? Current charge. Current charge. Okay. So Mah Mahmud asked about her current charge. How, my, how about the, the amounts uh, he have to pay? Ada sebarang tunggakan? Okay, what is it tunggakan? Outstanding. Outstanding. Okay. So, staff at the counter said ada tunggakan pada bil encik sebanyak RM72. Ada, that means is yes, you have. Don't have, they say tidak ada. Okay. If don't have, they say tidak ada. But just now, ada. Ada, that means is yes, you have outstanding. Okay. Outstanding charge. Yes, the amount is RM72. Okay, charge bulanan. I mean the current charge lah. The current charge you have to pay is RM70.35. Jumlah yang perlu dibayar. What is it again? One more. What is it jumlah yang perlu dibayar? Sampai. Uh, pardon? Hmm. One one again. What is it? What the answer? I think it should be uh, sample. Sample. Okay, yes, yeah, sample. Okay, uh, sample. I mean the, the total you have to pay lah. Sample, okay. Jumlah yang perlu yes. dibayar, the total all of them is RM142.35 only. Okay, RM142.35. Okay, this is a money and this is a receipt. Terima kasih sama-sama. Okay, so this is a, a situation in front of counter when uh, some of the um, customer, she want to pay for electricity bill. All right. Okay, so yeah, I was thinking we are finished already about the topic five. That's all. Okay. Uh, Alright, so any question about the topic 5 before we continue lesson in topic 6? Ada soalan tak topic 5? Okay, I remind again ya. In topic 5, please look at the conversation like this one. Salma, she want to buy the wet item in wet markets. And this one about the Suraya, she want to buy the item at the bookstore. The last one about the Mahmud, she want to pay electricity bill. Uh, okay, because in the section A, in your test two, you have to fill in the blank with the best answer. All right. Okay. So if you don't have a question, let me continue with the topic six. Okay, topic six. All right, topic six. We are talking about the daily activity. Wait in one minute. Okay. 
Kayak orang hebat dia gaya. Oh, oh ya, lupa. Bu garam, bu garam. Bila nak bu garam, masih di hujan. Ini bu garam, bu garam kejap dia hilang. Boleh, boleh. Tapi nak cari garam tu lah. Mana? Dia dah kecil. Dia kecil. Saya suka bila asa dia dah nak lega. Kata ayo. Kang air, badan panas. Kita nak bagi vitamin tu, saya kat awak tak boleh makan. Saya dah telan lah. Alis Trey, nak kena cover topik lima sampai topik lima. Ni kelas last lah. Okay. Alright. Topic 6. We are talking about the daily activity. So just now we are focus uh, you as a student in a campus. Because uh, daily activity, I mean we we have a lot of activity. We have a routine, routines like. Okay. Um, so just now we are focus you as a student in the campus. Okay. So please give me as a routine. Yeah? Uh, what's your, what the student activity in the campus most popular as a routine first of all you have to attend the class okay number two what is it different kinds of interest group okay you have to find the groups okay you have to find the groups uh, to make it a group discussion yeah number three what the routines as a student in the campus sports Yes, sometimes you have to play uh, like uh, netball, basketball, football, badminton and everything lah. Okay, number four. Uh, what's our activity in LPM 2100? You forget it. Go to the library. <laughs> yes, uh, you have to go to library. And the last thing, maybe you have to complete your assignment. The project is it? Uh, okay, this is the most popular uh, student activity in the campus. So I show you, okay, I show you a few of activity only. Okay, at least they have a lot of activity. Just now I put uh, um, the several only because of you will be find you will be find also the item in the paragraph later. Okay, first of all, berjogging. Okay, refer the pictures. You will know what I meaning. I mean berjogging. Okay. Right. Yes, jogging. You can jogging around of your PN at the early morning or in at the evenings. Okay. Uh, and number two, berbasikal. What is it, berbasikal? Look at the picture. Cycling. 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 Yeah. <coughs> okay, cycling. You can rent the bicycle and then you can around the whole of your PN with your bicycle. And then number three, this is what uh, Wang Zhao means. You Play some more sports, okay? You can play at badminton at the court or we call it gelanggang. Okay, gelanggang badminton. Yeah. But if you want to play football, this is, uh, you have to go to field, not at the gelanggang, yeah? Um, gelanggang is the, like you want to play tennis, you want to play netball, basketball. But if you want to play football, you have to go to padang or field where you can see also many grass here. Okay, bermain bola sepak. This is a most popular sport among of the uh, boys. Okay, among of the boys students. Wait, wait. Yes. Okay. 
Okay, and then you have to attend the class. Okay, if we are in physical class, okay, this is our hall. Uh, actually, this is our hall. Okay, they can put uh, many students in one time. Okay, but we are in online, so you are in your room just now. <laughs> okay, so last thing, uh, perpustakaan, I mean is library. Library. What the activity library. we can do at the library? What the activity we can reading. do at the library? Reading books. Reading books. Baca buku. Baca buku. Very good. <laughs> and then, after membaca buku, what is it? How about group discussion? Reading. Uh, yeah, yeah. Group discussion. Find the uh, resources about your research. Uh, so many things, yeah. You can borrow the books. All right. So, perpustakaan. Okay, just now I bring you, we go to the important place are in UPM. Okay, the important place are in UPM. Why I call this is important places? Because have you have you have been in Malaysia? One day if you've been in Malaysia, you have to go to the all of places. Okay, uh, tempat wajib. Okay, number one, bangunan chancellery. Okay, any idea what I mean of bangunan chancellery? This is a chancellery building. Any idea? Beauty. Why you have to go there? Because we are foreigners. <laughs> it's okay, actually. It's not for foreigners. Okay, local of student. Uh, we have to go there because this is the main building in UPM. This is our VNC office. Okay. All right. This is our VNC office. All right. For those, uh, have you made? Have you? <laughs> For those you have been in UPM, okay, this is the VC office. This is your places. If you want to register your subject, you want to drop your subject, sometimes you want to pay for your school fees. Yes, you have to be in here. But you have to uh, remember, if you want to be in here, you have to put the formal attire. I mean, it's uh, no jeans, no slipper. Okay, you have to look at the formal. Okay, because this is the main building, our VC office. Okay, number two, this is Gelanggang. Okay, uh, this is Gelanggang, the best spot we can play at here, like badminton, uh, and then what is it? Uh, mm -hmm. Netball, basketball. But if you want to play football, is it the best place or not? It's no. not the best place. Uh, this is not the best mm -hmm. place, yeah? You have to go to yeah. field, okay? This is langgang, yeah, like a yes. court only. You want to jogging, okay? This will be okay. Pusat kesihatan. Okay, any idea? What I mean pusat kesihatan? I give the clue. Okay, if you feel unhealthy, you have to go there. What I mean pusat Health kesihatan? Center. Yes. Hospital. <laughs> it, it's just a hospital. Hospital is bigger than pusat kesihatan. It's just like a health center of university like hospital lah but a small that small than hospital okay this is health center in uh, university because we are member of upms okay you are a student i am a staff so we will get the free medical here okay uh, <coughs> you want to absent class make sure you have to get a medical certificate from the doctor uh, okay so you have to go there Right? So, college kediaman. College kediaman. What is it? College kediaman. Any idea? What I mean, college kediaman. Hmm. Hmm. What is it, college kediaman? Okay. Actually, college kediaman. This is like a residence, like a hostel. Okay. Now you are in your country. One day, you have to come in UPM. This is the best places where you have to stay okay uh, like the hostel like a uh, residence so they have a uh, many buildings if i'm not mistaken around 15 so you can choose now which one the best building you want to stay at upm right and the last thing perpustakaan okay i told you at the first slide what is it i mean perpustakaan library library okay our library name is cats our library name is Perpustakaan Sultan Abdul Samad. Okay, now remember, this is the main library in UPM. How many of you have been here? 
have experience. I've never. Yeah. I was oh, there yeah. before. Oh, yeah. Okay. Are you in Malaysia just now? Yeah, I'm in Malaysia right now. Alhamdulillah. All right. Okay. So, is it they have a many step? Right? Yes, yes, yes. Ah, yes. So, many step here. Okay. So, they have a three level. All right. So, this is the best place if you want to find your information about your research, you want to borrow your books, okay? So, you have been there, okay? So, that's why I told you this is the most um, important place uh, in UPM, right? So, second, about the places. So, just now, I want to introduce you who are there, okay? Uh, the important people in UPM, all right? So, the first of all, we have pelajar. We have you. What I mean, you. What is it, Pelajar? Students. Student. Students. Mm -hmm. Of course, we have the student. Okay. In UPM, we have two categories of student. First of all, we have a process was a student and pasca is was a student. Pasca is was a student. Okay. Process was I mean, for those doing a degree program with university. Pasca Siswaza who are doing master and PhD program at university. Yes, graduates. Okay. So I believe you are in the second category. If you say you are in the first category, for sure you you in a wrong class. Okay. All right. So number two, number two, Knight Chancellor. Knight Chancellor, this is our VNC. Her name is Professor Dr. Muhammad Roslan Sulaiman. Please remember, yeah. Uh, who are very responsible about the successful in the university. Okay. And then the third one, we have pensyarah. What is it, pensyarah? Teachers. Yes. Yeah. Pensyarah. Yeah. Teacher. Pensyarah yeah. is like a teacher. teacher. Like a teacher or lecturer. Okay. So pensyarah, the meaning is lecturer. Okay. But lecturer. I'm I'm not a lecturer title. i just a teacher. Because I'm not come from your faculty, I didn't, I did not teach you about your major course. Okay, I just mm -hmm. teach you about the language only. I come from the uh, language center, so you just call me. That's why you have to call me, uh, madams or chat go only. No need to call me, doctor, professor, madia or professor because lecturer they have the title. Okay, for those have a. Uh, PhD holder, so you should call them with the title doctor. Okay, for those make it a more researchers, uh, the uni university appreciate for them and they give the title Professor Madia and Professor highest than Professor Madia. Okay, and then we also have pegawai, pegawai like the staff. Okay, they can, uh, we call it, uh, in English we call it deans and I believe each faculty they have a deans as a leader for your faculty. And the last one, we have director as pengarah. Okay, in my building, in the language center, we don't have dean, but we have the director. All right. Okay, so settle, yeah. So now, I give you the table. In this table, I put many vocabularies here. So based on the vocabularies, it will be help you to understand the meaning in this conversation. Uh, okay, all right, so let me read uh, the sentence, okay, and then I will ask you what's the meaning for each sentence, okay. Sorry, yeah, I did not call your uh, name to read the paragraph because the times, uh, I have to save the time because we have to do many uh, exercise and activity to complete our lesson for today, so I was thinking if I call your names, uh, not done to complete all of them. Okay, I just read ya. Yeah. Ali say, hi Siti, awak mahu pergi ke mana? Okay, what I mean, awak mahu pergi ke mana? What is it? Where are you going? Where, going? where, yes. I, where, where yeah. do you want to go? Okay, uh, where are you going? Where do you want to go? You are asking <coughs> Ali. Ali asking Siti because Ali meet the Siti at the bus stop. And then Ali asking, where do you want to go? And then Siti said, Hi Ali, saya mahu pergi ke perpustakaan. Okay, look at the table. Okay, the previous slide. Look at the previous slide. Look at the table. What the meaning of perpustakaan? Where Ali wants to library. be Ali? Why city? Library. 
Yes. I want to go to library. Yes, I want to go to library. Okay, because of what? <coughs> Saya mahu pinjam buku rujukan. What is it? What city wants to do it? The library. Yes, I want to borrow. Borrow what? Buku rujukan. Book. Reference books. Borrow books. Reference book. Reference books. Yes. You should say reference book, yeah? Buku rujukan. If you just say books, they have many types of books. Buku rujukan. Awak buat apa di sini? Awak buat apa di sini? What is it? What are you doing here? Pandai. What are you doing here? Buat, I mean, is do. Okay, look at the table. The buat, the meaning is do. What are you doing here? And then Ali said, Saya sedang tunggu raju. Okay, what is it tunggu? Waiting. Waiting. I wait for? For who? Ali waiting for who? Raju. Raju. Yes, Raju is the friend. Kami mahu berbasikal selepas ini. Why are you waiting for Raju? Because of? Kami want to cycling later. Cycling, yes. Because they want to cycling. Okay, look at guys. Saya. Okay, saya refer to Ali. I mean the one people. I'm speaking, so I should say saya. Okay. We're talking about somebody. Awak. I asking you. Awak. Awak, that means it's you. So, just now, Ali and Raju. So, you should be say, kami. I mean, it's we. Okay? Mm -hmm. More than one. We. Ali, Raju, is we. Okay. Oh, begitu. Saya mahu buat ulang kaji. What is it, ulang kaji? Look at the table. Review. Revision. Review. Review. Uh, revision. I want to make it a revision. Kerana because what is it? Peperiksaan semakin hampir. Why? Why City want to make some of revision? Exam. The exam yes. what happened? The exam? Semakin hampir. What is it? The examination is coming. I mean, the, the examination is nearing, mm -hmm. nearing, like, uh, getting closer. Okay? Uh, because the examination is getting closer. Same like you lah. Your test too is getting closer. Be prepared, everybody. Okay? Ali said, ya, yeah, betul. Kami akan mengadakan perbincangan kumpulan. What is it, perbincangan kumpulan? Look at the table. Group we, discussion. Yes. Discussion. We want to do some of group discussion at malam. What is it malam? Tonight. A night. Tonight. Yes. Tonight. Okay. We have a group discussion at tonight. Malam is tonight, yeah? Okay. Baiklah, Siti said. Saya masuk ke perpustakaan dahulu, ya? Yeah? Uh, let me enter to the library first. Okay, jumpa lagi. Jumpa lagi. Alright? Uh, so, this is the... What happened when Ali meet the city at the bus stop. Okay? For those who did not done for your assignment number two, you can also take this uh, conversation situation to complete your assignment. Okay. Continues. Okay, actually, I have a sum of activity to complete with you. Okay, with the others. I give to you some of the words. So, you have to make it a sentence. Alright? So, guys. I give you five words. First, ulang kaji. Second, ulang. Uh, third, perpustakaan. Number four, bermain bola sepak. Number five is kelas. What does it mean by ulang kaji? Answer me, please. What is Re it ulang kaji? Revision. Revision. Pulang? Yeah. What is it pulang? Return. Return. Okay, pulang. They have two meanings. Okay. First of all, returns. 
Okay, if you look at, at this dictionary or Google Translate, that means it will come back. So in this case, in this situation, I want to use uh, the first meaning, written, not come back. Okay. Number three, perpustakaan, library. Number four, bermain bola sepak. And the last is kelas. Okay. So please make it a five sentence. Okay. Not to combine the all of word to make it one sentence, yeah. I mean, ulang kaji, one sentence, ulang, one sentence, perpustakaan, one sentence, bermain bola sepak, ada sentence, and class is one sentence. Okay, your sentence, for example, okay, I put the example, eh, like this one lah. Saya mahu buat ulang kaji. I want to make it a revision. Saya mahu pulang buku rujukan. Saya mahu pergi ke perpustakaan. Okay, refer the uh, sample. Okay, so just now, your turn, I give you uh, 10 minutes. Okay, 10 minutes, please uh, make it a sentence. And then after that, I will call your name and you have to read your sentence later. Okay, all right, I will come back at 12.50.
Okay, class, I hope you're finished already. Okay, so I call your name, yeah? Please read your sentence. Let me correct if you make it no. wrong. Okay, so... Yes, please don't forget to turn off your mic, yeah? Because some of students, they did not hear my instructor. Okay, can I have a... 
Liulu. Liulu. Are you there, Liulu? Liulu. Liulu. Section 26, right? Yes, this is Liu Lu, are you there? It's not here. Uh, Liu Chong. Liu Chong. Liu Chong, are you there, Liu Chong? Hmm? Salah panggil. Ten twenty six. And this is sick, right? Twenty six. Twenty six. Okay, Wang Zhao. Wang Zhao. Yeah, I'm here. Ah, okay, so the two lah yeah. Okay, Wang Wang Zhao try to. Hmm, wait, wait, eh? My name. The two lah. This is some more. Okay, Wang Zhao, read your sentence. Yeah. Read your sentence. With the with the word uh, ulang kaji, only. yes, ulang kaji. Yeah, um, saya mahu buat ulang kaji. Alina pula mahu buat ulang kaji. Oh, okay. I want to make it revision and Alina atu. Uh, Is this your uh, yeah. what you mean? Uh, I mean you yeah, and yeah, Alina yeah. want to make a sum of revision. Okay, very yeah. good. Tepat betul. Yeah, I mean correct. Number two, uh, is it we have Chen Ping? Chen Ping. Are you there, Chen Ping? Chen Ping? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Okay, please read your sentence ulang. Uh, oh, uh, saya mahu pulang buku rujaka. Yes, uh. It's, Sorry, it's, it's, uh, same, like my, <laughs> same like my uh, my words, my sentence. Saya mahu pulang buku rujukan. You have the, uh, the other uh, sentence? No. Sorry, I, I can't catch you. Mean. Oh, Sorry. Okay, tapa. Okay, Chiu Chen Ying. She uh, raise up your hand. Okay, Chiu Chen Ying. You want to answer? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, read your sentence about pulang. Okay. Saya mahu pulang buku rujukan. Saya mahu pulang buku rujukan. Same like me. It's not fair. Others, yeah. others. Other sentence. Sama eh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do you change? Do you change? Yes, I'm here. Okay. Read your sentence about pulang. Saya mahu pulang membaca buku. Saya mahu pulang membaca buku. What do you mean? Saya mahu pulang membaca buku because because retaining retaining is a verbs and the reading a book is a verbs. You can do the the two things in one time. It is impossible. Saya mahu pulang membaca buku. What do you mean? In English, what is it? Uh, go back home and read oh, books. So you use the second meaning. I want to go back at home to reading a book. Is it? Oh. Is it? This is what do you mean in your sentence? Saya mahu pulang oh. membaca buku. Okay. If you say. Yeah. Okay. Look at. If you say, saya, saya mahu pulang membaca buku, you should put 
Saya mahu pulang untuk. Okay. I want to go back uh. for reading a book. Okay. You missing a word untuk. Okay. I tell you, you have to okay. use the word pulang for returning, not go back. In this case only. Okay. Apa pun, uh. terima kasih. Okay. Sunyaru. Sunyaru, your turn. Hi, teacher. Okay, please read the sentence about library. Uh, saya mahu pergi ke perpustakaan. Why your sentence same like me? Saya mahu pergi ke perpustakaan. Your sentence, your uh, sentence. Read your sentence. Uh, Grona, Grona perpustakaan uh, semakin hampir, hampir, oh, hampir. Okay, very good. Saya mahu pergi ke perpustakaan kerana peperiksaan semakin hampir. Okay, very good. Long sentence. Okay. Hampir pula dah hampir. Okay, very good. Number four. Uh, Liu Chong, are you there Liu Chong? Yeah, I'm here. I just uh, received a call. Oh. I'm so sorry, teacher. Are you ready for your sentence? Bermain badminton. And uh, this third one. Number four. Number four. Okay. Uh, saya mahu um, bermain badminton. Okay. This is my sentence. Saya mahu bermain badminton. Read your sentence. Uh, do you like to play? Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> do you like to play? Badminton. <laughs> How to ask it in Bahasa Melayu? Uh, How to ask it in Bahasa Melayu? Do you like to play badminton? What the question words do you like? What is it? Uh, saya. No. Do you? Do you like do you? to play badminton? What the sentence in Bahasa Melayu? Actually, adakah awak ada, oh, adakah awak suka, awak suka bermain badminton? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Do you, that mean adakah awak? Okay. Adakah. Ah. Adakah awak suka bermain badminton? Okay. Alright. Terima kasih, Liu Chong. Aliyu, read your last sentence yes, for class. For class. Yes, for class. What is it? Okay. Saya perlu pergi ke class. Again, saya. Are you what? Can you hear me, ma? Yes, I hear you. What? Saya perlu or saya Hello? mahu? Or saya suka. What is it, Aliyu? What your sentence? Read again. I cannot hear you. Oh. Teacher, I cannot hear you. So guys, can you hear me? Because Aliyu is not hear me. My voice is, is clear, guys. Yes, we can, we can hear. It's clear. Ah. Yeah, it's clear. Okay, Aliyu, maybe your connection is clear. Aliyu, yeah, join. I can hear now. Okay, now. Okay, read your sentence. What is it? Alright. What's your saya, sentence? Saya. Yes. Saya perlu pergi ke class. Ali, you just said the words mahu to per, mahu to perlu. Is it? Oh, more clever than me, ah. Eh? Ali just said mahu, and then they put the word perlu. Okay. Saya perlu pergi ke kelas. I need to go to class. class. Is it Aliyu? The meaning yes. I need to go to class. Okay. Yes, saya, yes, yes, yes. Saya mahu pergi ke kelas. That means I want to go to class. Saya suka pergi ke kelas. I like or I love to go to class. Uh, saya perlu pergi ke kelas. That means I need to go to class. Ah, okay, so in your final exam, as a preparation, yeah, guys, listen carefully. Okay, please give your attention one minute. In your final exam, they will give you the words, okay, the random word. I don't know which one part, which one topics. 
So you have to make it a sentence based on the topic, based on the words. Uh, like this one, they give you the words ulang kaji, the words pulang. Okay, so you have to make it the sentence based on the word. Okay, this is questions for a uh, final actually. Okay, all right. So settle about the activity. So we have to continue about time and date. Actually, time and date. I actually explain in the topic two how to uh, how to what we call it how to grading in somebody is on occurring time. Like a morning, you should say selamat pagi. Tengah hari, you should be say selamat tengah hari. Good uh, evening, you should say selamat petang and malam is good night. Okay, so I just repeat again. As a revision, just a recap. Okay, so based on according time, if you want to, uh, what we call it, you want to give the grading for somebody, you have to look at the time, because in Malaysia we have a long time for morning. We start at one a.m. to eleven fifty-nine a.m. Around eleven hours like that. Okay. All right. So tengah hari afternoon. We just two hours only. We just have two hours only. Uh, around 12 p.m. to 1.59 p.m. And every evenings, we start at 2 p.m. to 6.59 p.m. Okay. My alarm, 7 p.m. to 11.59. And the middle of night, I mean the midnight, we call it 12 p.m. to 12.59. Just one hour. So I hope. You can remember about the time in the Malaysians because according time uh, about Malaysian zone in English zone, not same. Okay. All right. So now we're talking about the timing. Okay. The timing. Look at second. Second in Bahasa, we call it saat. Saat. How many seconds? Saat. Uh, saat. Okay. 60. Sixty. Yes. 60 seconds for one hour. A for once minutes. Okay. Minutes. Still minutes in Malay. Different spelling. Same pronouns. Hours. How many hours for our subject? LPM two. to one oh, oh. How many hours? Two hours. Two hours. Two hours. What two hours in Bahasa? Two hours. Dua jam, not jam dua. If you say jam dua, that means it's uh, two o'clock. Uh, dua jam, okay. that means it's two hours. Okay? All right. And then, if you want to ask uh, what times now in Bahasa Melayu, you should say pukul berapa sekarang. I mean, it's what time now. Okay? Uh, you know, uh, sometimes, if you want to make it short, okay, sometimes my other teachers, they ask me, uh, Madam, time, time, for example, make it short, right? But in Bahasa Melayu, <laughs> no need to say. If you want to say, uh, Pukul, Pukul, that's mean you invite me to beat, uh, you invite me to beat someone, okay? So you should, you should answer with the whole of sentence. Pukul berapa sekarang? Okay? Okay, look at the o'clock. Okay, how many times? <coughs> two o'clock p.m. Yes, this is two o'clock. Okay, look at the watch. Look at the clock. This is the two p.m. No minutes. Okay, no minutes. Is there minutes? For example, uh, two five minutes. So you should be say pukul dua lima minit. Okay. Just now, sharp 2 p.m. So you can say pukul 2 or 2 tepat. If you want to write down with the answer, with the numbers, you can put the numbers 2.00 uh, p.m. Okay. So look at the second one. Okay. I focus for the a few of timing only. Okay. What time just now? Pukul a quarter dua. past 2. A yes. quarter past 2. Okay. I want to highlight, you want to make it short, okay? I mean, you want to make it short, you want to say lima belas minit, you can say dua suku, dua suku. 
Suku, I mean, is quarter of an hour. Okay? Or, if you confuse, you can say pukul 2.15 minit. But if you want to make it short, you can say dua suku. It enough. Short, right? Not 15 minit. Just say dua suku. I mean for a quarter of an hour. Okay, how about half? How about half? If you want to mention two for 30 minutes. What is it? Half. Half. What we call it half? Setengah. Setengah. Okay. Uh, setengah, I mean is half on uh, half an hour. Okay, pukul dua setengah. That means dua tiga puluh minit. Okay, and the last one, totally numbers. We don't have the shortest one. Pukul dua empat puluh lima minit. Forty five minit. We don't have a shortest. You can read with the all of numbers. Pukul dua empat puluh lima minit. Alright, so I hope you know how to mention, how to make it shortest based on the times. Alright. Okay, so this is how to write down about the dates. Same like the uh, previous topics. Okay, same like the previous topics. Malaysia style. Okay, we have to start with the day first and then follow by months and then years. Look at, but English, the difference is they start with the month. September 18, 2020. But Malaysia style, this is 18 September, 2020. Okay? Alright, and one more thing. We don't have the second, third, first, no, yeah? Totally numbers. 1 February, 1995. Hello, Okay, so we're going to finish our topics. Okay, all right. So last thing, not last lah. Uh, a few of uh, slide before last. Last topic, I mean, last subtopic. Okay, day in a week. We have seven day in a week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So everybody already uh, familiar and friends with the day in a week. But just now, you have to try memorize the names day in a week in Bahasa. Okay, catch up the pronunciation. Is Nen, Selasa, Rabu, Kamis, Jumaat. Not Jumaat, yeah, not Jumaat. Jumaat. They have three syllables. Sabtu and Ahad. Alright, so for those come from the uh, Arabs country, uh, Aliyu, where you come from, Aliyu? Aliyu, where are you come from? Nigeria. Nigeria, okay. Okay, Aliyu, your uh, yes. your day is a week. Is it similar like uh, we are? Only Juma at. Only Jumaat. Okay, all right. I'll call it Juma. Juma. How about his name? Litinu. Oh, totally different. <laughs> How about China? Yes. China. Call, call it what? Call it Salasa. What is it? China. Uh, his name? Wang Zhao. His name? Chi in Chinese, you call it what? Sim uh, Chi Yi. Sim Chi Yi. <laughs> Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So Sinti. just now this is Malay Malay oh. class, so you have to learn about Malay first. And then I have to attend a Chinese class to learn about the Chinese name. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so everybody try to catch up eh, about the day in a week. So I want to ask you what day is today? What day is uh, today? Thomas. Kamis. Okay, today is Kamis. How about tomorrow? Jumaat. Jumaat. Ah. Yesterday? Rabu. Ah. Rabu. Okay. In English, we just have today, tomorrow, and yesterday. But in Bahasa Melayu, we have more than that. For example, look at the table. Okay. In English, we just have today, tomorrow, and yesterday. Okay. I put the blue colors. Okay. 
I put the book in blue color. We just have today, tomorrow and yesterday. But in Malay language, we have more than that. We have day after tomorrow and day before yesterday. We call it day after tomorrow is as a loser. Day before yesterday as a kemarin. Okay. So hari ini as a today. Esok as a tomorrow. Semalam as yesterday. Yesterday. Refer the table. With the table. Please answer the question. Okay. Refer the table. Yeah. Hari ini hari Jumaat. Just assume, eh? just assume today is Jumaat. Okay, just assume today is Jumaat. What I what does it mean by esok? Esok is what? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. So, if today is Jumaat, how about tomorrow? What day? Sabtu. 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 Very good. Okay, look at the table and look at the future about the day in a week. Okay, number two. Semalam hari Kamis. What does it mean by semalam? Yesterday. 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 If yesterday is Kamis, how about kemarin? I mean day um, before week. yesterday. Rabu. Very good. Rabu. Rabu. Okay. So esok. Esok is tomorrow, right? Okay. If tomorrow is Sabtu, how about Lusa? Day after tomorrow. Yesterday. Ahad. Very good. Ahad. Bagus. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, number four. Kemarin. Kemarin is what? Day after yesterday. Day before yesterday, right? Okay. Day before yesterday. Kemarin is Rabu. How about yesterday? Thursday. Thomas. 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 Very good. Okay, last one. Lusa hari ahad. What is it, Lusa? Lusa. Day, after day after tomorrow. Day after tomorrow. If day after tomorrow is ahad, what day is today? Jumaat. Friday. Yes, Jumaat. Okay. Ah. Are you confused? Still confused? Yeah. Yeah or nay? No. Yeah, we just need some time to understand. Uh, totally. Because, because this is a first time, oh. right? Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. It is just for information. Don't worry. Uh, no question about the day in your test. Okay. But it's just like for information to you when you have been in Malaysia one day. Most of people in Malaysia, we use hari ini, esok. Semalam, kemarin, lusa. So I hope you can catch what the day they are trying to mean. Okay? Uh, what they are means when they say esok, when they say lusa. So you know what they are means, what the, the, the day they are means in the conversation. Alright. Okay, so look at also about the, the, the month. Oh, I'm not finished yet. Okay? Alright. So look at the white uh, column. Next. I mean it's minggu. Okay. Month is bulan in Bahasa Melayu. Mm -hmm. Year is tahun. Okay. Last, I mean it's past. Lepas. Past lah. Okay. Next, I mean it's coming soon. Okay, coming. Uh, we call it depan or hadapan. Okay. Okay, if I want to say, if I want to say uh, next week, what should I say in Bahasa Melayu? Next week. Minggu hadapan. Depan. Yes. Minggu. Next week's minggu hadapan. Not hadapan minggu. Yeah? Because the structure in Bahasa Melayu always twist. Okay. Minggu hadapan. If I want to hmm. say uh, last year. Last year. What Tahun lepas. Tahun lepas. Okay. Yes. Not lepas. Yeah? Uh, because the structure in Bahasa Melayu always twist. How about, uh, how many months in a year? 12 bulan. Yes, 12 bulan. Okay, for example lah. Uh, okay, last thing. 
uh, if I want to say every day, what should I say in Bahasa, bahasa Melayu? Every day. Setiap hari. Yes, setiap hari. Wow, very setiap good. Eh? Wang Zhao, you are best teachers lah. All of uh, you, you can answer. Setiap hari. It's good. Yeah. Ah. Okay, every day. Okay, so finish. Just now I present to you, this is a name, a month in a year. Okay. So, the most important, look at the spelling. Alright. So, January, in Malay language, we spell J-A-N-U-A-R-I. But, if you want to compare with the English spelling, you have to change the letter I to Y. Is it? For English spelling. But, in Bahasa yeah. Melayu, we put I. Okay. Same like February. You have to change the letter I to Y. March is totally different. M A C for Malay language and uh, spelling. M A R C H for English. April totally same. May and May totally different. Okay. June English uh, Malay uh, spelling without E. But English spelling. Missing E. You have to put E. Okay, English spelling, you have to put E. Malay without E. July, you have to change the letter I to Y. August, y. totally different. September, totally same. October, you have to yes. change the letter K to C. K C. November is same. December, same. change I S to? E M. T, E, E, and uh, C. Okay? C. All right. Okay. So, you have to check the spellings uh, because in a final exam, maybe you have to make sure all of spellings <coughs> are in Bahasa Melayu. Okay? All right. So, now, the last uh, conversation in this topic, the situation where Mei Ling, uh, she wants to attend the class. Okay, so what happened in this conversation? Hi, Meling. Awak mahu ke mana? I mean, Meling asking Suraya. Suraya asking Meling, where do you want to go? And then Meling say, Hi, Suraya. Saya mahu pergi ke kelas. I want to attend my class. Yes. Awak pula? How about you? And then Suraya say, Saya mahu pergi ke kelas bahasa Melayu. I want to attend uh, Malay language class. Malay language class. Kelas saya bermula. What is it bermula? Look at the table in the lecture notes. Hmm. What is it bermula? My class? Start. Yes. Begin. My class start or begins at 2 p.m. Okay. And then Mei Leng said, Oh, begitu. Oh, I see. My class start or begins at 3 p.m. Okay. And then Suraya say, Meleng, jangan lupa. What is it? Jangan lupa. Jangan. <laughs> jangan. Jangan lupa. Don. What is it, Don? Don't forget. Okay. Uh, oh. Jangan lupa is don't forget. Hadir, what is it Hadir? Attend. Yes, don't forget to attend our English replacement replacement class. Okay, English, uh, English replacement class on Rabu. What is it hari Rabu? Hari Rabu hari apa? Uh, Wednesday. Yes, Wednesday. Minggu hadapan? What is it minggu hadapan? Next week. Next week. Ah, next minggu week. hadapan is next week. Don't forget to yeah. attend English replacement class on Wednesday next week. Okay, so Melin said, kalau saya tidak silap, if I'm not wrong, if I'm not mistaken, 
the dates, I mean the dates for English replacement class is 30 November 2020. Am I right? Meling said. And then Suraya say, yes, Meling, you are right. Kita jumpa di kelas nanti. Okay, see you later. And then Meling say, okay, see you later. All right. So for those who did not complete your assignment number two, you can use also this situation. All right. Okay, so I want to highlight the most important. If you find the question in your final or your test two, they have put the number like this one. So we just assume this is the date. Okay, this is a date. All right. So you have to spell the numbers like this one. 30 November 2020. Okay. Or because this is the date, you can also say 2020. Okay. Ah. Or how to say 2022? 2022. Okay. 2022. Okay. Ah, you can say. But, okay, but if you find just the number 2020, okay, no need to say 2020 because this is not uh, a date. This is just a number. So you should say 2020. Okay, just for dates only, you can say 2020 or 2022 because if you find the number, you should write down uh, with a formula 2020. Dua puluh. Okay. 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 So. Uh, okay. I was thinking we are finished already about the lesson six. Okay. So as a promise, I want to present to you the formats in a test two. Okay. They have three questions. First, you have to fill in the blend with the best answer. And number two, section B. Actually, oh, oh, wait, 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 yeah. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I have to delete the answer first. Wait. Yeah, mm. yeah, anak-anak. Anak-anak pula. Wait one minute. Oh, oh, I lost. Stop share. Black. So sorry. Okay. Actually, your uh, formats in your test too. Okay. For B section, the question is like this lah. Okay. All right. So, everybody, I give you five minutes. Try to complete the questions with the best answer. Where you have to rearrange all of words here to be a complete sentence. Number one, two, three, four, and five. I give you five minutes. I will come back at 1.35. Please here, yeah, complete the exercise.
Okay guys, have you done? Okay, I hope uh, you can answer with the correct way lah because actually the sentence come out from your notes. Uh, if you notice, actually the sentence come out from the conversation, conversation situation for each topic. Okay, alright. So number one, I call your name, yeah? So please give me the answer. Uh, okay. Nama siapa yang... Okay, who want volunteer to answer number one? Before I call your name. Uh, who want to answer number one? Okay, I will come first. Wow, okay. Is it you, Wang Zhao? I, I speak... Yeah, yeah, it's me. But I don't know if it's correct. It's just okay, it's just okay. Because this is a process of learning. Okay, if you, if you make it wrong... So you learn something like as a preparation for a test too. Okay. I'm very uh, appreciative. The first sentence is... Yeah. Okay, what is it, <laughs> number one? Uh, harga bagi sebuah buku ialah uh, dua belas ringgit. Uh, oh, this is capital letter pula. Wait, 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 wait. 
harga bagi sebuah buku ialah RM12. Harga bagi sebuah buku ialah RM12. Yes, good. This is a good answer. Okay, Wang Zhao. Very good. Congratulations. Okay. Appreciate. Okay, number okay. two. Who want to answer number two? Very easy. <coughs> this. Ah, uh, any volunteer before I call your name? Okay, let's be try. Who's speaking? Okay, what's your answer? Lemon rasanya masam. Lemon rasanya masam. What the meaning of lemon rasanya masam? Uh, I'm not. Uh, I'm not. Sour. Lemon. Lemons. It oh. is very sour. <laughs> For sure, the taste of lemon is uh, sour. Okay. Uh, lemon rasanya masam sour. Okay. Lemon rasanya masam. <laughs> We are talking about the taste, eh? Sour, sour. What is it, sour? Masam. Okay. Uh, Masam. Who say lemon rasanya manis? Is it manis? <laughs> if you if you no, say lemon rasanya manis, manis, I was thinking uh, something happened with your tongue, ah. <laughs> number three. Okay, who want to answer number three? I will. I yes. will. Leave one one. What you answer? Yes. Yes. Hmm. Belaka saya. Mampaya bell electric this sini. Okay, very good. Perfect, ya. Yeah? Bolehkah saya membayar bill electric di sini? Okay, bagus. Number four? I will, Dr. Okay, Zhang Chen. What is it? Is it you, Zhang Chen? No, Chen Piao. Oh, Chen Piao. Okay, okay. What's the answer? Um, berapa kah harga sekitar uh, udu, udang? Udang. Berapa kah harga sekilo udang? Okay, what does it mean udang? Udang is what? Meat. Are you sure udang is meat? Shrimp. 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 Udang is prawn or shrimp. Okay, very good. Okay, last one. Who want to answer? Number five. Mm -hmm. Me. me. I'm Shao Lin. Okay, Shao Lin. Okay, what is it? Shao Lin. Um, what is it? Awak awak kan mahu makan apa? Awak mahu makan apa? Wow, excellent, everybody. Okay. Would so you like, Would you want to eat? <laughs> yes. What do you want to eat? First, at camp, yeah. all of you give me the the right answer. Very good. Very appreciate. So I I wish you good luck for your test too. Yeah. Okay, so look at the, this is format for B. Okay, for C section, the format, alamak, I, uh, I already put the answer. It's okay lah, I discuss lah. Okay, actually in your test too, okay, in your test too, you have to rearrange the sentence to be a complete story. Okay, give you the sentence, okay. You have to find which one number one. Okay, I give the tips. You have to look at the time. Actually, we have to start with the mornings and then follow by afternoon or evenings. And the last one is malam. If you are lucky, if you, if you are lucky, you will get uh, found all of sentence. They have a timing. But in this case, two of sentence don't have a timing. Okay, so try to understand what the meaning for the sentence. For example, Encik Ali seorang jurutera. What I mean, Encik Ali seorang jurutera? He is an uh, engineer. Mr. Ali is a job. He's okay. an engineer. Uh, engineer. Encik Ali, she is an engineer. So maybe uh, they want to introduce the character. They want to introduce who is Encik Ali. So this one, it should be number one. Okay. Uh, and then, dia tinggal di Kuala Lumpur. What is it, dia tinggal di Kuala Lumpur? He lives in Kuala Lumpur. Okay, he living in Kuala Lumpur. Okay, uh, continues. 
uh, from the center number one. Encik Ali seorang jurutera and she live in Kuala Lumpur. Okay, and then we start with the routines of Encik Ali. Encik Ali routines. Every day, okay, Encik Ali akan pergi ke kerja. Akan pergi ke kerja pula. Encik Ali akan pergi kerja pada pukul 7.45 pagi. I mean every day. Yes. He go yes. to work at 7.45 a.m. And then go follow by evening. The routines. She will come back at 5.30 p.m. And then the last one, she will go to bed at 10 p.m. Okay. So complete your story. Okay. In your test, you have to rewriting back. All of sentence. I mean the typing lah, not to write on the paper and then start the picture. Not you have to write in. Okay. Uh, in this case, I just put the numbers only. Okay. So uh, I hope you already know about the formats in your test too. Okay. So you should answer the all of question in forty five minutes. Please put the clock in front of you, nearest of you, to uh, make sure you submit your. Uh, answer in 45 minutes okay for those have a problem for example uh, uh, you have a problem with your device or connection problem on that day don't forget to snap some of teacher to defend your problems uh, for example some of student teacher i can answer uh, the test because uh, everything is loading when i click one question to one question you have to take a long time loading a long time please snap the future okay i try to help you try to defend you Okay. All right. So I was thinking we finished already about discussion for today. At this island, any question? Yeah, I've got a question. Yes, um, what is it? What's the difference between Drumpa Nanti and Drumpa Lagi? Okay, same. It's the same. Drumpa the Nanti same, yeah. and Drumpa Lagi. Yes, the same. Okay, thank you. Okay. All right, so class, I forget to take your attendance. Okay, so I call your name. This is Saya, yeah. Zhang Yufan. Zhang Yufan, are you there? Zhang Yufan. Saya, madam. Bagus. Saya, Dong, madam. Dong Weiwei. Dong Weiwei. Saya, I'm Saya, here. madam. Okay, Chiu Tianying. Chiu Tianying. Chiu Chen do you have a problem with your mic? I see your name appear in my screen, but no response. Are you take your lunch or you sleep, Chiu Chen Ying? He Yang, He Yang, are you there, He Yang? I'm here. Okay, very good. Liu Chong. Uh, okay. Long Han Yan. Long Han Yan. Yeah. Okay, Chen Chiu Jing, Chen Chiu Jing. Chen Chiu Jing. Madam, saya. Okay, Aliu. Saya. Okay, Zeng Min Yu, Zeng Min Yu. Here. Okay, Liu Wan Wan. Yes, I'm here. Okay. I'm here. Liu Lu, Liu Lu. Hello, I'm here. Okay. Li Lu Hui Wang, Lu Hui Wang. Okay, Zhang Meng. Saya Zhang Meng. Meng. Okay, Songna. Songna, where are you, Songna? Saya, Madam. Saya. All right. Ru Yangshu. Ru Yangshu. Saya, saya. Okay, Ying Li. Ying Li. Saya, saya. Okay, Sun Yaru. Saya, saya. Zhang Ziyuan. Zhang Ziyuan. Zhang Ziyuan, are you there? No. Zhang Tian. Zhang Tian. Saya, Madam. Okay. Huang Li Chun. Huang Li Chun. Ya, Cikgu. Okay. Ya, Cikgu. Bagus. Chen Ping. Chen Ping. Yeah, I'm here. Okay. Yeah, I'm here. Gao Ya Chiang. Saya, Madam. Okay. Do you see? Saya, madam. Yan Jia Hui. Saya. Saya. Wang Chona. Wang Chona. I'm Wang. here, madam. Okay. Yang Jia Ling. Yang Jia Ling. Saya, saya. Yang Chan. 
I'm here, teacher. I'm、And、here. Wang Zhao. Saya, madam. Li Zhengyang. Saya, madam. And last one, Li Qirui. Li Qirui, are you there? Li Qirui, are you there, Li Qirui? Li Qirui. Li Qirui, I see your name is here in my screen, but no response. Li Qirui, are you there? Okay, guys. For last thing, please turn on your camera. I want to snap some of future as proofing your attendance. Uh, teacher, sorry. Can you hear hear my voice? Uh, who is it? Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm Yan Jiahui. Okay. Yes. Record it. Okay. Okay. As there is no response, so <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Please, everybody, turn on your camera. I want to snap some of picture as approving you attend my class, everyone. Hurry up! Hurry up! Hurry up, guys. Please turn on your camera. As approving, please, please, please. Okay, look at, look at your camera and give me uh your smile. One, two, three. One more, one more, because they have two sheets. Okay. One, two, three. Okay, very good. So, guys, I wish you good luck for your test two, and then, uh, if you want to make it a revision and you need my help, just let me know. Uh, WhatsApp me or in WhatsApp groups. Maybe if if I'm not your mate, maybe help you to answer your question. Okay. So don't forget about eight January twenty twenty two eight thirty p.m. to nine fifteen. That's all for today. And assalamualaikum. Jumpa lagi. Terima kasih. Jumpa nanti. Bye bye. Bye bye. Terima kasih. Terima kasih. Yes. Terima kasih. Sama sama. Terima kasih. Bye. Bye. Assalamualaikum. <coughs>八万四千，八万四千，人家帮你打，没有，没有，没有，没有，没有。Mereka dah habis lepas lima minit ni. Kalau tak bus kan, tunggu dia pun keluar dulu baru biar ke ataupun. Tapi kalau dah habis dah, dia tak rasa. Dia just join je, berarti.